reason should I give for firing him? I'd just say he disobeyed a direct order from his commander-in-chief to turn over his file, sir. Think I should get into his immorality? I don't think that'll be necessary tomorrow, sir. He already knows it. When's he coming up? I told him to be at Camp David at 9 in the morning. Then tell him why. Oh, no. Good, good. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning. Thank you. Would you sign the guest book, please, Mr. Martin? All right. May I get you some coffee, sir? No, thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. A nice trip up? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Ever been here before? No, sir. It's beautiful countryside. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Thank you. Something I want to talk to you about concerns your record of performance, your conduct of the agency. I don't want to talk to you now, Mr. President. Here. I do, however, have something I'd like to show you. I would ask you not to say anything in this room, however. We can talk about it outside. What the hell are you talking about? Your lodge is constantly being listened to by the Department of Defense. Camp David is a Navy base. When you're here, Mr. President, you are a guest of the Secretary of Defense and he will have a tape of anything we say within minutes. I have personally read transcripts, conversations you've had in this very room, so I don't want to talk in this room.
What do you want? May I suggest, Mr. President, that you and I go outside and talk? Huh? Alone. Oh. Yes. about all this. Alan to control. Stemwinder and Martin are coming out of Aspen, moving north. Roger, Alan. We have them visually. Maintain normal distance. Alan, Roger. President, I'll get right to the point. You and Elmer Morris, the White House and the FBI, have been involved in some highly illegal, potentially embarrassing operations. I think those pictures in that list prove that without question. That's the road to the main gate. It goes right by the CO's house. But I uh, think we'll go this way. Do you ever bowl? My bowling alley is behind that house. And that is oak. Every building here is named after trees. A member of your staff, Mr. President, has been photographed bugging the home of Arthur and Forrest Perrine. He entered the house illegally. Your man, Hagelin, is known to have done other jobs of a similar sort for you. And Elma Morris has done the rest. And you've got a problem, Mr. President, a very serious problem. It was interesting back there that Tucker Tofford looked at the list, saw the pictures. He only asked one question. Pictures had no captions. The list had no headings, information, just people's names. Yeah, T.T. only wanted to know one thing. What was that? What do you want? Not who are they, what are they doing, or what does it mean. He just wanted to know my price. Let's go this way. That road goes on straight ahead out to the big field. There's nothing there now but the helicopter. You can shoot skeet there in nice weather, but it's covered with snow now. Allen to control. Control to Allen, go. We're southbound on the tennis court road. There's Navy traffic. A jeep just went by. Roger, Allen. We saw it. We're shutting down all base traffic until Stemwinder returns to Aspen. I have problems too, Mr. President. I'm here to suggest how I can help solve some of yours and then tell you how you can solve some of mine. In other words, I propose a plain, old-fashioned horse trade. I don't object to trades. Now, those are the tennis courts. They use them a lot in the spring. I don't play golf or tennis myself. Never had time to learn. Too busy with other things. Glad you're open to a trade, Mr. President. Now, what do I have? The one thing that you need, total silence. There are three people outside of the White House, Mr. President, who know about the taps and bugs and breaking and entering. And all three of us are willing to forget what we know. So, and what is it that I trade, that I give you for all this silence? There are several things, Mr. President. Ah, the price. Sounds a little like blackmail, Martin. Maintenance shops. Tell me the CBs can fix anything there. I'm afraid they can't fix this particular problem, Mr. President. Only you and I can do that. For instance, the Primula report. I want you to destroy it. Ah, uh, how can I do that? Come to the agency. I'll log it out to your possession. There's only one copy. We'll shred it in my office. Is that all? Oh. That answer all your problems? There are a few other things. <sighs> I thought so. Let's cut over this way. There are several other problems. One is, what happens to me? You're not going to want me in the CIA after all of this. That would be an impossible relationship. My wife and I have talked it over. We've decided we'd like to go abroad for a couple of years. And I think you'll be a lot happier with me out of the country for a while anyway. That's Tesla's cabin. Cedar, he's up here for the weekend. Mr. President. Yes? Do you understand what I'm suggesting? Perhaps you'd better say it again. All right. 
You make me an ambassador or trade commissioner, but nothing heavy, not London or Paris. Maybe South America or Mexico or some such place, just long enough for my pension to maximize. And then I will retire from government. I see. And now let's talk about the CIA. You'll be replacing me with a new director. Yes, Carl Tesler is already getting up a you list. You can forget about Carl Tesler's list. I'll give you a list right now, a list of one. The new director will be Derwood Drew. And who the hell is he? A career employee, formerly my assistant, now attached to the embassy in Bangkok, a rather colorless fellow. He'll do an excellent job for you. Anything else? Yes, call off the dogs. No more FBI harassment. Are you being harassed? I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about the CIA. Tell Elmer Morse to lay off. There's no liaison between the FBI and the CIA because he broke it off a long time ago. You'll order him to reestablish it and you to give Derwood Drew your full support. Even when he's wrong? He won't be wrong often, but yes, even when he's wrong. And I'll be sitting out there watching you. And if you horse the company, the CIA, so help me God, I'll pull your chain and flush you into oblivion. And that goes for Elmer Morse and that flat foot bureau investigation too. You understand. This is interesting. See those uh, swings and that Peter totter? And that thing uh, called a jungle gym, I'm told. Oh, perhaps you know. You have children? No. No. William Arthur Curry had a son, Billy Jr. So he put all these things here for his son. But his wife hated Camp David. Wasn't elegant enough for her, you know. She called the buildings Arkansas Motels. She wouldn't let her little boy come up here and play with these things. She called that too damn bad. Stuck up cow. Mr. President, did you hear what I said about the FBI? Certainly. I heard all of your obvious blackmail demands, Martin. And? But. <laughs> and? And what? And what is your response? If you get silence from me, will you destroy the Premula report? Will you destroy it, give me an overseas job, appoint Drew, and call off the dogs? Because that's the price. Take it or leave it, damn you. But I want your answer now. Alan to control. Control to Alan, go. Stem winders and Aspen. All is secure. Roger, Alan. All is secure. Out. 